causing problems in Harlem. You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while simultaneously excusing everything Roxxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problem Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, as someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Jared, shut it down! And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good objects to destroying a child! Get the car! I need a hot stone massage! Hello? Hello? <laughs> Holy shit. Tougher than I look, huh? <laughs> Let's find a way out of here. Roxxon kept Rhino instead of giving him to the police. It's crazy. Nothing about yeah. Roxxon surprises me anymore. You okay? I will be, once we're out. I'm shutting off security cams. Can you check that computer? What did you find? There's the exit, through this office. We have to lift the base lock down first, from the control room. What the hell? You screwed up the bridge! Destroyed my lab! Got me kidnapped! Finn! Finn the reactor! Come near me again. I'll kill you. My family's dead. Genki. I need help. I'm gonna go grab a washcloth. Some antibiotic. <laughs> System healthy, um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but he's I busy want in his car. Kurt. Well, we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out now. I'm gonna find you, kid.
Come on out here, Spider-Man. Who's there? Out for the count. Okay. Now to get inside.